Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Monkey here again. This is part two of the blog about um, the flipper in Tacoma. All right, I was in the forest about an hour ago. My battery died, so now I got home. I put a new battery in the computer, I mean in the camera. And um, I'm going to continue with part two. All right, so basically we were in Tacoma, me and my husband in Tacoma, looking for houses to buy under 200000 So the realtor showed us this house where we knew it was a flipper because the realtor said the house sold like a year ago for like 90000 or 80000 or something. And now the flipper, the fucking, the fucking, fucking flipper wanted 203000 for this piece of shit house. Let me tell you about this piece of shit house, all right? 203000 that's what the flipper wanted. And the realtor said that if we gave the flipper a full price offer of two hundred three, that there would be no bidding war because the flipper basically would sell it to us first if we paid 203 because basically what happened is there was a massive bidding war for this piece of shit house and the top bid was 203 all right top bid was 203 that person backed out basically they they couldn't get financing or whatever happened and then the flipper basically said if we bid 203 we'd be the top bid so then we basically get the house all right so let me tell you about this piece of shit house right let me tell you about it right so we go we get to the front of the house and the front of the house actually looked nice it was like, um, you know, it was a small craftsman style house. And the front looked nice. You go in, it's tiny, small. It's like 650 square feet, all right? 650 square feet. But that wasn't the worst feature. The worst feature is this fucking flipper. This fucking flipper that bought this house for 90000 a year prior. One year prior, he bought the house for 90000 This fucking flipper put pergo on all the floors. Or that cheap laminate, whatever it's called. I don't know what the hell it's called. It's this cheap laminate, fake, 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 phony, phony wood floor. All right? It's this plastic floor made to look like wood, and it's cheap as fuck, and it looks horrible. Right? Then the appliances were dirt cheap. You could tell all the appliances, the fridge, the stove were dirt cheap. You could tell the flipper had done everything as cheap as possible in this house. All right? Then it gets worse. You open the back door, it's five feet to the fence. There's no backyard, no backyard at all, five feet to the fence. Disaster, uh, disaster, 600 something square feet and you want a 203. I'm like, I wouldn't buy this house for 120. I would not buy this house for 120. And it's like, that was the turning point. And that was when I was like telling my husband, you know what, we should just move out of the Seattle area. We should get out of here. We should just leave this area. We should move somewhere else. We should move somewhere where we can have an awesome quality of life. We should move somewhere where we can walk to the mountains in like two miles. We should move somewhere where we can have a dog, have a big backyard, and we can get to the mountains in like a mile or two. We can just walk like 15, 30 minutes, and we can go hike up in the mountains right there. We should live somewhere where the ski resort's like 30 minutes away, where we can just take a bus and go to the ski resort. We should live somewhere where we can just walk to the bowling theater. We should live somewhere where we can just walk to the movie theater. We can just walk to the restaurants, you know. And then we found the place, you know, Ogden, Utah. We found the place, Ogden, Utah. We can do all of that. We can do all of that. So now, hopefully, within the next two or three months, we will be moving to Ogden, Utah and get out of this area. And I'm so thankful now. I'm so thankful that our two offers in Tacoma got rejected. The first offer we placed on a house, it was a very nice house, 900 square feet, very cute house. And it had a, a garage that was totally converted into like a second house. It was totally, it was, it was nice. It was done architecturally very nice. You could tell it was an architect that did it. It was, it was done very nice, very professional. And they had like built a big, huge addition to the garage. They had totally converted, basically made it a second house. It was like 800 square feet. So it was basically two houses on the same lot for like 190,000. And we could rent one out for like six, 700 a month. And then we would basically pay the remaining balance on the mortgage, which would be like five, six hundred. So it would have been a really good deal. But we got rejected. Somebody else placed a higher bid that was in South Tacoma. And then the second house we bought, in, I mean, the second house we placed a bid, second house we placed a bid, South Tacoma, that was a house that was 199000 And that was actually fairly nice. It was like 1,400 square feet. It was a very nice house, a very nice middle class community. And the house had like two fireplaces, beautiful solid oak floors throughout the house, like three bedrooms, big huge living room and family room and kitchen, two fireplaces, a fireplace in the kitchen. I mean, a fireplace in the living room and a fireplace in the living room and a fireplace in the family room, fireplace in the family room and a fireplace in the living room. It was a very nice house, beautiful backyard, nice like deck where you could, you know, have a grill and stuff. It was a nice house. 
and we, we placed an offer 199 and they rejected it. Somebody else placed a higher offer, so they got the house instead. And as it turns out, I'm really glad we lost those two offers. You know, I'm really glad we did not move to Tacoma, because had we moved to Tacoma, we would have been doing the two-hour rush hour commute every day. You know, we would have been doing that two-hour rush hour commute every day. We would have been living in a neighborhood that was way south Tacoma, where you'd have to take a bus to get to downtown. You'd have to take a bus to get to the shopping. You would have to take a bus or a car to get anywhere, because there was nothing in that area. That area was like five miles, you know, from the shopping area where you have Costco and different stores. You know, five miles. So again, you have to drive everywhere. Everywhere would be driving. Everywhere would be car. Everywhere would be taking a bus. You want to go downtown to do anything downtown, you're going to have to take a bus. and It's going to take like 20, 30 minutes to get there. So, you know, thank God we got rejected for both those offers. You know, I'm very glad. Even though they were nice houses, I'm glad we got rejected because I think living in Ogden, Utah, I think would be much, much better. I think it's going to be much, much better living in Ogden, Utah. You know, I think that would just be so much better. We can buy a house in Ogden, hopefully for about 150. We're hoping about 150, maybe a little lower, maybe even 130. And it should be a fairly nice house. And everything is walkable. You can walk everywhere. Walk downtown. You can walk to the bowling theater. Walk to the movie theater. You can walk to the rock gym. They have like a rock gym. You can walk to the rock gym. You can walk to the mountains. The mountains are like two miles away. You can walk to the mountains. The mountains, Ogden, Utah, 4,400 4, feet elevation. The mountains are like 9,000 feet. So you can walk up like 5,000 vertical up in the mountains. And then on the other side, they have the ski resort, Snow Basin Ski Resort. On the other side, you take a bus to Snow Basin. They have the bus six days a week. I believe it's six days a week. I think it's like Monday through Saturday at the bus. It might be Sunday too, but I'm not sure. But you can take the bus to Snow Basin at least six days a week, maybe more. I'll have to check the research. And then you can go skiing like, you know, when you're off. You know, when you're not working, you can go skiing. I just think the quality of life will be awesome. I think it's going to be an awesome quality of life. And I'm now glad we're not moving to Tacoma. I'm actually glad we're going to go to Ogden, Utah. I think it's going to be a much better quality of life. Thank you.